Orthopedic surgery is interesting because it's, uh, in many ways, you're trying to preserve or get people back to um, a certain way of life or a certain uh, activity that they like to do. Hi, I'm Joe Farber, and I'm a new orthopedic surgeon with the Southwest Michigan Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Group, located in St. Joseph, Michigan. I've been happily married, you know, since uh, 2009, so about four years. Um, I have two kids. I have a two and a half year old son in Jackson. I have a um, he's three months uh, just just recently. Um, and his name is Maddox. I grew up in Grand Rapids. I um, you know, went to high school there at Jenison High School. I was uh, recruited by Brian Kelly and ended up playing football at Grand Valley, so I did my undergrad there. Um, I did my medical school uh, training at uh, Stritch uh, School of Medicine, which is Loyola in Chicago. The um, orthopedic surgery residency that I did, was, that I completed, was at Henry Ford in Detroit. And then I did my sports medicine uh, orthopedic surgery fellowship in Houston with the Methodist group. Uh, covering the Texans and the Astros and the other professional sports. There. Sports medicine is kind of a lot of things, but it's basically the care of um, it's a care of athletes or people trying to uh, maintain or get back to a sports type of lifestyle. A lot of sports medicine is non-operative, actually. Um, in general, a lot of it uh, kind of involves ligaments, tendons, and muscles, and those many times can be rehabbed with physical therapy and other kind of modalities. Where I come in is when either those measures have failed or it's a particular type of injury um, that specifically will not heal with, with rehabilitation. Certainly in orthopedic surgery and in my practice as well, there's certain technologies that we use. Um, arthro arthroscopic surgery has become sort of the, uh, a mainstay in orthopedics. Uh, where you have small incisions and you use a scope and other small instruments to work inside the joint. There are certain uh, different kinds of computer navigation, um, just like what you might use for your car, a little bit different where the, the satellites that you may have guiding your car are actually probes that we place in certain spots on the body and we use the computer to um, help us with the overall alignment um, and, and component uh, placement for different surgeries, whether it's a, a partial or a total knee replacement. Um, hip replacements. Um, there are certain uh, technologies where they are, the computer and MRIs and other things are used to make certain types of guides that specifically fit your anatomy. I think one of the most common things that probably comes into the office are, are actually shoulder problems, um, you know, rotator cuff tears and rotator cuff tendonitis, sporting injuries about the knee, ACL tears, um, meniscal tears. Uh, those are things that I've basically devoted the last year of my life specifically working to address the different kinds of um, shoulder problems, uh, labral tears, um, knee problems, things with uh, the meniscus, the ACL, the PCL, the different uh, collateral ligaments around the knee. And I think the best advice I ever got from a patient was just to, just to make eye contact and talk to people. Uh, I think people really like to uh, feel like their doctors listening to them and making a connection with them. And it's kind of a basic human thing you know, just to be able to, to look at somebody and talk to them and feel like they're hearing you. I think that's really important. 